Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, happy New Year. Happy Valentine's Day. This is my cup for today. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. So, I was just thinking about Isaiah 61. Um, beauty for God giving us beauty for ashes. So, I thought I would show you my Bible, Bible verse pictures on... Isaiah, um, and this is a shout out to California and um, uh, Lexi, a friend in California. I heard she was watching YouTube, my YouTube video, so I appreciate that. And I'm going to send you some books. Uh, we have lousy weather out here, kind of icy, not real snow, wet, but um, we're doing good and we're nice and warm in our hearts, aren't we? Uh, this is Isaiah 61, 3, and it's Chinese New Year. Spring is around the corner, and God is doing something new. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me. I guess it's on Jesus, I believe. I, this is Isaiah speaking in the Old Testament, the prophet speaking the word of God. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me. How do you draw a spirit? That's hard. And Lexi, I want to see some of your drawings. Because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. The Lord has anointed me, made me special, giving me special oil, giving me a job. He's anointed me to give new, good news to the poor. So I don't know if this is they have no money or they're poor in spirit. He has anointed him to give good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Go. I need a penny or something because I heard missionaries are sent ones. Like a penny. They are sent. So he's, I believe this is Jesus. Because Jesus quotes Isaiah later in the New Testament. But this is years before Jesus came. But this is Isaiah speaking prophesying and speaking God's word. God has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. So he's binding up a heart. I have a band-aid somewhere I need to bring out. It's a broken heart. He's binding up your heart. He's binding up our hearts. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the captives. Freedom, yay. And here's the captives. They're captured. Their, their hands and their feet are bound. And they're released. Freedom. Yay. We're free. <laughs> release and release from darkness for the prisoners. I don't know if there's an and there. But release from the darkness for the prisoners. And there's an open door. And get out of prison. Get out of jail. For free. For redemption. So this is Isaiah 61.2. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Da, 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 year of the Lord's favor. Maybe I'll cut that out. Blessings. Year of the Lord's favor. Hopefully this year. Going to give us some blessings. Favor. Favor means look well upon. And the day of vengeance of our God. So he's going to re revenge. He's going to avenge for us. Day of vengeance. There's a day on the calendar. To comfort all who mourn. So a lot of people are dying this winter. And we're sad about that. We're mourning. We're grieving. But God's going to comfort us. To comfort all who mourn. There's mourning sadness over death or loss. I need a pen. Death and where's pencil? And loss. Doing a little Bob Ross here. He's going to comfort those who are mourning, who have sadness over death and loss, and God is comforting us. And provide for those who grieve in Zion. So here's Zion, and, he, and he's giving provision, providing to those who grieve and are sad. God will provide for us. What is he doing for us? For 
we're alive, right? We're, we're reading this. Isaiah 61.3, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes. So we are princesses, queens, daughters of the Lord. He's giving us crowns of beauty instead of ashes. Beauty instead of ashes. And ashes is like dirt from the fireplace. There's joy. And there's an old fireplace. Inside are ashes from the fire. So that means when you're sad in the olden days or mourning. So God is giving us crowns of beauty instead of ashes. No more sadness. The oil of joy instead of mourning. Oil. I'm in the kitchen. I have oil for the... I'll go get the oil. He's giving us oil of joy instead of despair. The oil of joy instead of mourning and sadness. And last page. And a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. So here's a garment, clothes. This is my shirt, a garment. Garment of praise instead of sadness. They will be called oaks of righteousness. I'm looking outside. I don't see an oak for you. We have pines. But they will be called pines of righteousness. Oaks of righteousness. Strong strong trees um, of righteousness, of goodness. So you are, we are strong trees. And then I skipped ahead to Isaiah 61.7. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion, and instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. So the Chinese like to say double portion. So instead of your shame, your sadness, your embarrassment, people are looking down at you. Instead of your shame, you're going to get a double portion. You will receive a double portion, and instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. Inheritance is what you've been given. So God gives you an inheritance. Your, mom, your family gives you an inheritance when they die. You inherit it. And what you've been given, you're not going to have shame, but you will have joy. So I pray for you that you have joy today and have a great weekend, new year, and a loving, wonderful Valentine's Day.